Hey guys, welcome to the video. Ben here, and today we have a package for the SCX10, which has changed a little bit. Um, it's missing the front bumper. Sorry, I haven't uploaded in so long. I've been very busy. I've moved the electrics up front, taken the plates off. Um, other updates: my desk is bigger. Um, the SCX10 bumper is on the TRX4. Actually, looks really cool. Got the FTX going again, still got to get a body for that. And the bobtailed rangey is now beautifully repainted. It's got front bumper and back bumper. And it is also now a pickup with a window and everything, see? And then it has the actual side plates in there. That motor's not actually in there at the moment, now it's got some modifications, but... Yeah, bonnet comes off now. Um, so back to what we have for this. So it is in this box. I've already opened it and had a look. This is an act. It is exactly what I ordered. I'm just gonna sit you down for a moment. So you can have a look at this. It is the Club 5 Racing Range Rover Classic 2 door body for the SCX10. Then we're just going to point it down a little bit. Here we go. Um, so, what else came in the box is keyring. Very nice. Um, got some. Stickers and some emblems. And also, what I will be putting on it is some of the stickers that came with the SCX10 when I bought it. If I can just find them very quickly. Here we go. As you can see. Um, Scale Builders Guild there. That we go on the window. I think probably all of these will be going on the window at some point. So that they should be going on there. Um, so yeah, I say let's crack on with it. So first thing is first. Um, got to actually get into it. So, where is my knife gone? Give me a moment. Aha, here we go. Now, always be safe when you're using this stuff. Or just knives in general. Um, this is very big. I know that. In fact, um, I don't know what else to say, it's just awesome. So first of all we have the front wings, window screen plate thingamajiggy. Um, stick that down there. Um, we have light buckets and lights in there. Very handy. Um, we have windows by the looks of it. Yep. Um, there is the back tailgate in there and some other bits. These are all labelled very nicely. Bag A, bag C, this is bag B. Yep. Bag B. Um, here we have the hood slash bonnets, um, the back end, the tailgates would go. Um, we have, oh, nicely already painted silver bumpers, and the front grille. We have the side pieces. 
some back wheel wells. Um, hey, it comes with tools. That's very handy, actually. It comes with a tool. We have those. Got three fillet screws. Here we have the roof. Um, let's see if we can get into here. Got the instructions. Yep, got instructions. Got ginormous doors, actually. <laughs> like really, really big doors. I mean, it is a two door, but I didn't think the doors would be this big. Wow. Um, got all of our little screws. A screwdriver in there. Wait, do we have hinges in there as well? Yes, we have hinges. And then we have a massive ginormous roof. So, this is going to be a very fun build. I think. Um, I might this is a time lapse, I'm thinking. Uh, let me just get all my bowls for different screws I've got. got one bowl, two bowls, three bowls. Um, I think I'm just going to do this as a time lapse. So I'm going to set that up now. Alright guys, so here we are with the Club 5 Racing Range Rover. Um, it turned out the build was an absolute pain in the butt. It took me like a week to build this. Um, really annoying. Um, put the different wheels and tyres on there. It's got headlights. Um, the bonnet does open. It looks like it's kind of hidden under there. Close that again. Sometimes do a little bit fiddly. There we go. Um, doors open on both sides. There's no interior in there yet. Um, it's painted like Cuda 2266's um, True Law Range of a Classic on YouTube. Um, back here we have. The back tailgate, top tailgate, and the bottom tailgate, these do you have a Zeppelin size but they're just stickers all over it. Um scale builders guild sticker. Back opens just like that, and then that gets back up and that closes. So in a moment we are going to take this little drive around the house since it is pitch black outside. Alright guys, so here we are with the first outdoor run of the new two-door Range Rover body. Let me see how it does. These tyres are awesome. They're just ripping and everything. Oh look, I've already got my tyres a little bit muddy. That's a lot sloppier than I remember last time, honestly. It's not the fastest truck. It's not too slow. 
I would wish it was a little bit faster though, to be completely honest. Look at that, it made it. Um, let's see how steep it can go. Made it, somehow. It's not very easy to drive one-handed. I'm driving with one hand. Hold the camera and what the other. Oh, a little bit down the front. Let's see if we can make it up there. There we go. Very easy actually. made it. They seem to be stuck. Um, okay. There we go. Back it up. It is quite a long little base. It really is. do not want to roll, so I'm going to do something like that. There we go. I made it. Let's go back over here. I'm going to have to make like, a trial for this soon. Like an off-road course. The track. In a way. Get. Well, I've still got to actually put a body on the FTX. And then, um. do a whole trial with them all. The TRX4, the bobtailed Range Rover, this Range Rover, and the FTX. Let's see if we can climb the rocks. Give me a little bit of human touch. 
and then it will make it almost. Okay, not quite. Ah, difference caught by the looks of that. Oh god, if I go that way, it will roll. This is on the SCX10. You see that wheel disappear in there? That looks sick. This truck's awesome. Now, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I might do a little bit on the inside, don't I? Alright, so I'll see you on the next one.